Hi, I'm Patrick Starr. I'm a beauty vlogger. We're here today shooting with Formula X in my new place. I was so interested in becoming a makeup artist, so I figured practicing on myself, how could I relate to these girls that, oh, this would work for me, that would work for you. So that's when I started posting videos on YouTube. And just trial and error, just seeing what works, what doesn't. My followers would always want me to get my nails done. I would like pose and, you know, for Instagram or YouTube, they would be like, get your damn nails done. And I was like, okay. I got my first manicure a year ago. And then I found Formula X. I love Formula X because everything is beautiful from the nail care to the nail colors, the high shine, it's just flawless. I chose pink for my three colors just because pink is universal, pink is fun, pink is love. So I look at these colors like personalities, not just a color story, but I think of them like little people. She Better Work is like a fun shade for like my brides and the young girls that want to explore color without being too loud. And I think it's such a cute color. Yes is a fun, fuchsia, bright color for my girls that want to like try something new. I feel like it's a grown up girl color. It's sassy, it's super sexy, and it's a fun party color. Lucky Star is my spirit color. It's great for nighttime. It's just a bold pink with glitter. You can really pair this with anything and just have a statement because nails are a statement. It's the perfect accessory. I would name my collection Star because it's about being cool and being a star is cool. These shades represent me in all types of ways because with me, wherever I go, it doesn't matter if I have makeup on, turban on, turban off, makeup on, makeup off, my nails are always with me. What I love about these shades the most is that it is pink and pink is for everybody. Real men wear pink. You're gonna love these shades because I made these for you. Hey guys, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited. Number one, I am in my bedroom. Number two, welcome back to my channel. I have been embracing every single moment of 2016. I do apologize. I did not have a January favorites because I was busy with Formula X. That is what you guys just saw my video with Formula X. It's so surreal. And this is my February favorites. By the way, I was in Nick's stores in January. All Nick's stores, my face on the front, in the display. So cool. And for February, I'm in all Sephora's US and Canada with Formula X inside all Sephora's. I'm not gonna bore you and play it again, but it just gets me every time. Quick story behind this, I shot this video and the campaign for Formula X in my apartment once I moved in. So I tell this to everyone, it was like completely surreal getting this collaboration because I was with my brother and my friend Ronnie, those of you guys that know Ronnie, and I was in Hollywood and Highland looking at the Hollywood sign and I was like, man, I wish one day I'll have the chance to move to LA and be a celebrity makeup artist or something. Just just do something in the makeup industry. And then I got the email from Formula X. This was last July. Peter was here in July. It's so surreal and I showed it to Peter and I showed it to Ronnie and I was like, Shh, is this real? Like Sephora Formula X wants me to make colors for the store. And here we are today. I got my apartment right before Halloween and because of holiday, I officially didn't move in until January, but I did decorate in November. So we shot that video and my display pictures in my apartment because they they called me and they asked me, hey, can we shoot in your apartment? We want to capture your style, everything. And I was like, I have no style. I have no decoration. So that kind of just forced me to decorate. And this was right after I came back from Turks and Caicos with Tarte. And it was my birthday, so it was like Turks and Caicos, my birthday, Thanksgiving. By the way, shooting your ad for Formula X inside Sephora with my empty apartment. It was just so surreal, and I just want to say thank you guys so much for believing in me, for supporting me, a man in makeup, and I just want to say I love you guys so much, and it's been so surreal. You guys completely have changed my life, and I thank you. I want you all in my bedroom. That's why I chose to do this in my bedroom, because... It's so personal to me to be in here. I sleep here, I edit here, I film here, and I have nothing else but to share but my heart with you guys and that I love you. These are my three colors, She Better Work, Yes, and Lucky Star. Woo! 
was a lot to say. So first things first, I want to say this bitch right here has been by my size, my size, by my side, like in traveling January and February. This I use on every shoe, on everything, and this professional is amazing because it literally fills in my pores. In the month of February, I traveled to Hawaii, Cancun, LA, back to Hawaii, and now I'm here. I came back from Hawaii with Benefit like two days ago, and this is the bitch that saves the day. This professional is amazing. It just fills my pores. It makes my skin más suave, and me encanta este producto, sí. A lot of you guys didn't know I speak Spanish. Hola, como están? Chicos, bienvenidos a mi canal Patrick Star. Si quiero un tutorial en español, dime en los comments below. All right, next, my favorite of the month and January, January, February, is this Dior Air Flash. This Dior Air Flash is a spray foundation. It is an aerosol. This foundation is really amazing. It is thin, but it is buildable, and it has a beautiful pearlescent satin finish, and I use this all the time. I'm wearing it right now. It just makes my skin look completely flawless unlike the MAC full coverage foundation I love that but I feel this is like the most camera friendly I have seen pictures of Jeffree Star having bottles of this and Candy Johnson using this and Manny using this and a bunch of my friends using using this and this is really expensive but if you do take a lot of pictures or photography and want a full natural finish this is amazing next for the face I have been obsessed with this powder, Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. This is by Charlotte Tilbury. It makes the skin completely... This is so dirty. I this product is amazing. This is by Charlotte Tilbury, and I use this under my eyes. I believe it's supposed to be a finishing powder or a touch-up powder. It is beautiful. I hit pan. It is amazing. It is very pricey, but um, my friend MUA.Alexander, he's a celebrity makeup artist. He just came over one day. He was like, hey, I want to play with your face, and we played. This is the makeup that he did on me, and I was obsessed with this. This just made my skin look flawless. Like, it made my under eyes look flawless, and I know Kathleen Manning said that Kathleen Lights loves this as well, and if she loves it, I love it. If Manny loves it, I love it. If it's by Charlotte Tilbury, I love it. Oh, this color by the way, is a in the color number two medium. This is way lighter for me. Like this is way, way, as you can see, way too light for me. So I use this under my eye. All right, for the face, I have been loving this blush, Captivating. It is truly like the name, Captivating. It is a, it reminds me of like Peaches by MAC and it is so, so pretty. It is like a, it's like a beautiful salmon, salmon, salmon color. It is peachy. It is bright. It gives me that like flesh, flush tone on the cheeks. And this is the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. All the blushes by Tarte are freaking amazing. They stay on all day because with me, my struggle before was with like MAC blushes that it wouldn't stay. But this has like a dry clay consistency that it really sticks on the skin because if you guys know me and you guys watch my tutorials I use a lot of air spun and then I use a foundation powder and then I use a highlighting powder and then like a bronzer and by the time I put on a blush the blush doesn't really stay because there's a lot of powder but this blush seems to stay on these before I was using the Tarte blushes I would have to spritz my face with like fix plus or like a setting spray and then apply blush on my cheeks but this one is truly captivating, and this is the color Captivating by Tarte. I love it. All right, so next, I have my fragrance. This is Marc Jacobs. If you guys didn't know, I went to Marc Jacobs and had a dinner with his people, and then he was sitting like a couple tables from us, and I went to the store and we picked up this fragrance, and Karen, I love Sarai, Sarahi on Instagram, had mentioned to get this one, and I was like, okay. I like it. It's so hard to explain fragrance. It smells like a sexy woman that has been with a man, like, all night. That's what, it smells like his set rubbed off on her, they had a long, fun night, and this is the scent that you get. That's what it smells like to me. It smells sexy. All right, guys, so I pulled up the picture on Sephora.com, and I think this is, I believe this is Gardenia. This is, like, the original. So this has notes of Sicilian bergamot, 
Velvet Gardenia, Egyptian Jasmine. It does smell like jasmine, white pepper, honeysuckle, blonde, woods, and musk. I just love it. Try it out. Everyone knows the scent whenever I... It smells so delicious and I just love the scent and um, if you guys see me in person or smell me, most likely I am wearing this. And a little trick, you want to spray some behind the ears in case bitches hug you like, oh yes, oh. One more makeup thing. This has not released yet. This is by Tarte. I am obsessed with it. I don't know what it's called, but um, it is the double-ended... Oh, so it is called the Lip Sculptor by Tarte, and it has a lipstick on one end, and it has a gloss on the other end. Since I have been traveling so much, it's been so hard to carry, like, a beautiful color lipstick with me, like a staple color. This is my staple color of the freaking year. It is called VIP. It is a beautiful, like, nude. It reminds me kind of like Mocha by MAC. A little bit it's beautiful it's a little bit more pink I don't know how to explain it can you guys see it it's such a beautiful color but this gloss like I haven't worn lip gloss in so long because this trend nowadays is always liquid lipstick this liquid lipstick that like matte liquid lipstick matte cream like hygiene matte everything but gloss has been like so neglected lately I just love this it's like a beautiful see how it is pigmented it is beautiful and it is so comfortable. It's not sticky. It just feels amazing on the lips. I'm wearing it now with any nude lip I put it on. It's just a beautiful, I, I just love it. And this is in the color VIP by Tarte. I believe this comes out in the next couple months, like April, I believe, April and May. Lip Sculptor, Lipstick and Gloss Duo. It's amazing. I love this. And it's amazing for your purse. All right, so that's spoke about makeup and all the above that have been my favorites. I want to show you guys again the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. I freaking love this. You guys don't understand. When I used to um, just use makeup wipes, I would rub my eyes and my eyes would get irritated. And I would have to take a break from filming because I would just like burn my eyes all the time. But this is seriously the best. If you don't like it, drop it off to Los Angeles at my door. So a lot of you guys have been saying that this is just like coconut oil. I did some research and coconut oil is high on the comedogenic scale. So comedogenic means it will clog your pores. So Google, I read that it's about a level four in clogging pores, comedogenic. And this is not comedogenic. It will not clog your pores. It is non greasy. And I clearly love it. I need to buy some more because this is amazing. It takes everything off. I Periscope pretty much every night whenever I take this off. If I'm bored, I'll like... To follow me on Periscope on Twitter, you guys will see me wipe off my makeup. And 90% of the time, like 100% of the time, I use this on Periscope. When I w I'm going to do it tonight. So follow me on Periscope and watch that. All right, next, I want to talk about my charger right here. This is a contraption. This is actually a pearl charger from Gizmo Trends. It has saved me when I have been traveling. This is not only a charger. It can charge your iPad, any Android camera, or iPhone. And it comes with a compact mirror. And it indicates, like, how... Um, how many charges you have so all the lights are blue right here and it shows that it's a full charge and I've been charging my phone next to me this whole time and if you hit the same button twice it's a light up it's a light up mirror I don't know if you guys can see this oh do you guys see it is a light up compact yes and it's great for the club you can charge your phone you can look good it's great and i love this so much and it's from gizmotrends.com and you can use the code pstar to get anything off that website um at a discounted rate also i love this phone case by candy lover 89 she bedazzles anything she can even engrave your name she met me at my meetup with formula x and she gave me this decked out phone case and if you press this button it is a light as well. It's the Lumi and it's great for Snapchat. As you guys can see, it does light up really freaking bright. So next, this month I have been traveling so much and I have been able to vlog and give you guys more content, something different apart from makeup and talking videos like this. Vlogging are just visually just so fun and you get to see a different side of me without makeup when I'm adventuring, whether it be with Peter, with Manny, with a brand. It has been so much fun and I just wanted to let you guys know 
know some of the cameras that I use. I got a drone. I don't do it at all. Peter is more familiar with it because it's so funny. Speaking of the drone, if you guys saw my Snapchat, like we tested it in my apartment and my apartment is tiny. So it like crashed into like my dresser and scraped the side. But I have that. But the cameras that I want to introduce you guys are my Sony A6000. This is like my Instagram camera. This is amazing. I'll take a picture right now for you guys to see. Super clear. I love it. It has like a little softening filter. The camera sends pictures to the phone via Wi-Fi. It has its own Wi-Fi. Not via Wi-Fi. You don't need Wi-Fi. It has its own Wi-Fi code and you enter it on your phone and you could do it on the plane, do it in your car, and you don't, you don't need actual Wi-Fi in a building. And this is my other camera. This looks like a freaking Wally contraption. A lot of vloggers have been using this. I just wanted to introduce it to you guys. I've been getting questions like, how do you get those smooth shots? This is called the DJI Osmo. This is a pricey camera, but it's amazing. You can actually take it out and put your phone here and you could use your phone as a viewfinder and it's really cool because it stabilizes itself so I will just unlock it I will turn it on and it'll come to life and as you can see the camera lens is right behind this I'm not gonna take it off but it literally will go into selfie mode one two three you see that and then I can go back again hit it twice and I can run with this and it will give me good shots. Here's a little bit of a clip of me running and Peter using it. It really, like look, it's not moving. Like the front is not going to move. It's just going to stay in its place. It's so cool. Like it doesn't move and I just love it. If you guys want to see more um, footage of vlogs or like maybe OOTDs, I'm definitely going to be playing with this camera a lot more. And um, let me know if you guys want to see like plus size fashion, um, hauls, try on hauls, anything. I just want to make my channel more diverse. I do plan on doing more makeup transformations on other YouTubers. I have so much fun doing those. If you guys want to see another YouTuber get a beat face, let me know who you guys want to see on my channel down below. I have a couple of girls that I met in Hawaii that are interested in doing it. I'm so excited to have them on my channel. And yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for such an amazing year so far. This year is going to be so much fun. I have so much more ideas for you and I just want to say I love you guys so much. If you guys like this video, give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, and subscribe again. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! How was that? You didn't say Periscope. And Periscope. Bye! <laughs>